Did you know that nearly 60% of new restaurants fail within the first year? And 80% before their fifth anniversary? We don't want these statistics to be you guys. We aim to make your restaurant succeed and to build a good report with the public. These statistics do come from Ohio State University. Our consultation company formed through means that you wouldn't normally expect. We had a friend that owned a restaurant that required some help. We were able to help them get on their feet and improve it. We realized that there was a business that we could make out of helping restaurants, so we formed our consultation company. Since our experience was strictly with family restaurants, because of our friend having a family restaurant, we decided to make that our specialty. We made our mission statement as follows. We seek to help financially deprived family restaurant businesses make the most out of opportunities presented to make a positive impact where we live and work. Our values are honesty and commitment to our customers. We have a company hub where we post about specific jobs, keep everyone updated, and specific tabs you can click on to find them all. We use this hub messaging system also to contact our employees and keep in touch with everybody. As far as talking with our clients, we use email and phone calls. We document everything in our hub that way we as well as the emails. We are trying to build our company because it is still small and one day hope to become a well-known consulting company with high credibility. We put effort into your business like you're our friend. My name is Mackenzie Waters and I am one of the founders of Next Step. My personal experience involves my family restaurant. I am not the owner, but I have taken part in the inner workings and marketing of that business. Our restaurant makes you feel like family and we have a good report with the citizens of the town. I have been in the position of building a restaurant from the ground up. I have seen the struggles my family has gone through to continue to have the restaurant be profitable. I have learned much from them. This image of our restaurant has been the most important and has kept us going. My sociology department does well with communication, but it can always be better. When communicating with students through social media, they use too much text. They always have pictures, but they are filled with text. This discourages the reader from reading the post. They need to use less text in their pictures, which allows the post to be accompanied by the picture and not a continuation of the text. My experience within this industry and with communication tools through my department can help further your business to make the best of the opportunities presented. A large part of helping a restaurant grow is looking at the reviews. Reviews are left on places like Google, Yelp, and similar review sites. Today we are reviewing Henry's Louisiana Grill in Ackworth, Georgia. It's a mix of Cajun, Creole, and Southern food, and they've been in business for 25 years. They are best known for their crawfish races in September. They do have competitors though, like the Center Street Tavern and Pizza by Focos. Looking at the reviews for Henry's Louisiana Grill has provided some positive and negative feedback. Two positive feedbacks were that they have great quality food and their owner is there most evenings to greet patrons, which is amazing. But there are some negatives to that as well. There is a contradictory statement where it's called where their fried foods are claimed to be very soggy, which is not good, in, especially if they are drenched in oil. And the second one is that they have little to no COVID family protocols evident. When COVID happened, families still wanted to be able to participate, but if there were no protocols, they weren't allowed to, and it was one of the setbacks they had. These are not all the positive and negative reviews the restaurant has received. They are also praised for their menu variety, specifically citing gluten-free menu options, as well as having attentive servers. Some of the negative reviews were that they were not very family friendly, as the family had to carry their car seats upstairs, and that the atmosphere was too loud. The family could not hear each other's conversations. Knowing the benefits and the setbacks can help figure out what you might need to change and what can be kept the same. 
it is a great starting point to begin consultations with clients. Center Street Tavern is one of their competitors and they also have a small amount of parking. If we can fix this for Henry's Louisiana Grill, they can come out above their competition. Based on the reviews, we find opportunities for improvement. Two of these are their menu variety and safety protocols. One family was complaining there was not enough safety protocols present, which can include masks, gloves, hairnets, wiping tables often, Germex, anything of the sort. So we will review what that restaurant has done and what that restaurant can do, especially coming out of this pandemic slowly. The other is menu variety. With menu variety, they tend to focus on that Creole Southern style of food. They can add a few more items, maybe for kids or a few people who are following along with other groups. Not something that's super great, but I mean, that's not something that might be directly towards that food style. Another opportunity for improvement is improving the quality of customer service. Whether this be attentiveness, cleanliness, um, hiring more workers, because sometimes that can honestly be the cause, or just having someone go around asking. Either way, this is something that we need to discuss. Some threats to this restaurant are the inconvenient parking and the tourist expecting the restaurant to be the exact same it was pre-COVID. So as far as the pre-COVID thing, we can put out announcements on social media, trying to nicely tell them, hey, we're changing a few things, but making sure that they're not really scared of it because change is honestly a scary thing for individuals and as well as the parking that can be fixed either with buying property putting more cement down or changing location another threat is the way they eat the crawfish boil at the restaurant has now changed because of COVID-19 they've had to change regulations and they cannot do the crawfish boil style that they have done for the past 20 years something years this is all for quality and care and concern for the individuals the best way to get people to accept this is going through social media and putting things out hey we care about your safety and managing it around the way of i understand this looks different but nothing is really different. The food is still the same, it's still the same thing you're enjoying to make people less afraid of the change. In conclusion, managing a restaurant's reviews will help make the restaurant the best it can be. And this should be done periodically. These reviews can give a restaurant an edge over the competition by allowing them the chance to see where they fall short and stepping up to the plate to complete it. We enjoyed having this company allow us to look over their reviews and provide feedback for them today. If you have any questions or would like to contact us, you can call us at 123-456-7890, email us at consultation at nextstep.com, or go to our website, nextstep.com. We are also giving free t-shirts on the way out the door. They do have our logo on the front of them. If you would like to grab one for you and a friend, and they will be by the door for you. Thank you for your time, and don't forget to reach out.